Hey there everyone, Hadesh here from LearnCodeOnline.in and welcome back to this JavaScript series and it's time that we move forward in JavaScript. Now yes, we have learned only a few concepts in the advance and there are still so much to talk about. Uh, things like promises and a lot about arrow functions, new concepts in the objects, the triple dots, a lot of things needs to be discussed here. But obviously if we'll be just moving on to that that pace with those things it would be really hard for you to understand and apply these concepts and remember the whole idea behind creating any series that i do is something which user can replicate at their own end and can create a really big project with that it's not just like i just want to show off some skills it's always the idea is to break down things into smaller chunks so that you can repeat it so what we are going to do now from this point onward is we will be learning how we can use this JavaScript onto a web-based platform or simply say it as website and so that we can use our existing knowledge into it. The more concept that we'll be learning in the JavaScript, we'll be applying them and we'll be seeing live in action what we are actually capable of doing it. Also on the side, we can create some of the fun projects that are pretty easy to do, fun to do, and we can do that. So let's go ahead and move on how we are going to set up the things in probably future videos, maybe some project videos, but the setup is always going to remain almost the same. So the first and foremost thing is we are going to create a new folder. So let's just call this uh, simply as 01 and we're going to call this as web basics. There we go. And inside this web basics, we actually need two files. There can be three files as well, but basically we just need two files. The first file is simply an HTML file and the second file is gonna be JavaScript file. We're gonna learn how we can attach these JavaScript file into our HTML and can manipulate all the structure of this HTML. Once we have the knowledge of uh, restructuring the HTML using just the JavaScript, we can perform a lot of things and whatever we have learned, we can apply them there. So let's just go ahead and do that. So in the web basics, we're gonna create a simple new file and we're gonna call this as index.html. Feel free to call it whatever you like. I'm gonna call this as simply index.html. Okay, we also need one more file. So I'm gonna call this as my, or simply my script. You can call it script.js as well. The common one is script.js, but I'm gonna call this as my script.js. Okay, there we go. So now that we have two files in here, now in the index.html, obviously I will not be talking about what is HTML, how we can write this, how is CSS, how is going get go going on. I do have a course, couple of courses. Uh, first one is Emmet, available on learncodeonline.in, which is totally free. And you can learn how we can have really the fast structure using HTML. Notice I'm just using an exclamatory sign, hit the tab and it fills up everything for me. This is gonna be the fast paced things which I'll be using. Again, there's a free course on Emmet and completing all these boilerplate structure and stuff like that. In case you are still not impressed, what you can do is we can have something like a paragraph, uh, which is gonna have lorem of probably 50 words. I can do that as well, and it's gonna generate 50 words for lorem ipsum for me. I'll be using these kinds of shortcuts so that we don't have to waste much time in writing HTML. So that's why I highly recommend to check out the Emmet course. Also, if you are much more interested in the it, this JavaScript stuff, I do have a complete front-end developer course in there as well. But enough of that, let's talk about how we're gonna arrange all these structures now. Okay, so this is my boilerplate HTML. And if I even run that, it doesn't say anything. So I'm gonna just have a an heading and I'm gonna say, uh, this is my new file. Save that and I want to run this file. To run this file, either you can open up your directory and can click on this index.html, just double click on that. It's gonna open up in browser. That is totally, totally, absolutely fine, but we can do something better. You can just open up your installation of extension and I have installed an extension which says live server. And this live server is being developed by uh, Ritwik Day. Uh, again, uh, I just got to know that he also watches my videos on my channel quite often. So thank you so much for this amazing uh, extension developing this. So thank you so much. I highly recommend this. I have used it. It's amazing. It just works like a charm. All you have to do is go onto your index.html. After you have installed it, you're going to find at the bottom go live. If you're on a Windows, this blue bar is actually at the top and you see a go live there as well. Just click on this and it's gonna start it and gonna fire up your browser and there you go, that's it. The best part about this is that I can just have it side by side, uh, something like this. Come on, I just want to close this. There we go. And I can change the things on the go. 
like something this is my new file and and some more come on I can write that and some more if I just save this it automatically reloads the thing for me web development is much more fun when you don't have to just keep hitting the reload and reload and reload so that is why I use this extension okay pretty good extension thank you so much Rithvik Day uh, I really enjoy this so make sure you have this one now once you have this guy as well here what we want to do is we want to add our script of uh, this my script into this file so for this all we have to do is add this script tag and inside the script tag we have to mention the source as well in the source I'm gonna directly say that hey load my my script.js okay now here's the tricky part now if you are following exactly the same structure that I am doing you should face no problem at all but in case your index file is somewhere else and your script file is somewhere else that can be a little bit uh, uh, dramatic and you have to figure it out that how you can link this file okay uh, it's pretty easy but I highly recommend to follow the exactly same structure that I have been doing so far and then what we can do is we can simply write a simple alert statement there and in this I can say uh, file is attached and as soon as I save this notice I get a pop-up on my web page that says hey file is attached if you are getting exactly the same message that means our setup is perfect and is completely okay also I would like to comment this because this can be a little bit annoying that all the time you reload the file it just says file is attached file is attached it's really uh, not so good experience so there we go so this is our basic setup that we'll be doing probably almost all the time whenever we'll be doing any project work or any such things for learning and stuff. So this is our basic stuff. I hope you're following me along on this series. So make sure go ahead do all these setups as well. From the next video onwards we are going to understand what is the DOM structure, how we can manipulate them, how JavaScript can be integrated and so far whatever we have learned about JavaScript, how we can integrate onto a web page and can take advantage of it. Okay, so that's it. Pretty easy talk. I hope everybody will be able to do it. And I'm going to surely catch you up in the next video.